how you guys doing? If you didn't guess, today's about LEDs. And basically, we're gonna take our LED strips and we're gonna mount them on this back wall. And it's gonna give us a lot cleaner of a look. But some of the things you're gonna need, you're gonna need, and there's different things you can order. I'll make sure I'll add all this in the description, but this is an aluminum recessed trim piece. And then, I only need one. But this is a clear film. It's gonna go right over top of it. The LED is gonna sit right in here. You're gonna nail it to the wall, screw it however you wanna do it. And this is gonna sit right over top. And it's gonna give off a lot better, it might not be as bright, but it'll all around cleaner look and it'll focus your lights towards wherever you wanna get it, depending on if you get the uh, 45 degree ones like I did. So let's get right into it and see how it looks. So just so you guys can see what I'm talking about, this is the 90 degree piece and I have one on the wall already, but these tracks here, they slide right into this and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about if you guys get the same angled pieces I got. This is more for rope LED, but I want to angle my stuff so um, make it have a nicer look. And you see it just slides right in there. Give it a little push. Oh, that came out. There we go. And it'll slide all the way inside. Here's a better look at the back. And then what I'll do is I'll take a trim or uh, take my drill bit from my uh, drill. And I'll slide, I'll get a drill bit in there just so I can see a better look on the other side. Because right now I can't see where the screw hole is. Right there is a better look at the corner piece. And you can see I got the two screws in it. And then basically we'll take that and go all the way up the wall. All the way up the wall and then around the room here. So, like I said... If I run into any problems, I'll stop and let you guys see what I got going on. And we should finish right about there. And I'm going to plug everything into that cord going under the door there. So let's get to it. I'm putting three screws in here. One at the beginning, one at the middle, one at the end. And it should fit. Nice and easy. And they fit right in the tracks there. So be pretty easy to install this whole room and get it done and then get all the lights in here and show you guys what it actually looks like versus what exposed LEDs look like. Now you can see for that piece, I already started my next line. So now, make it really nice and easy, I just gotta measure from here to here. I wanna focus on getting this flush. We can always put a cover piece over this and hide. If we didn't cut this, which more likely than not, it's gonna be hard to get a precise measurement. And then for this piece here, because my trim comes down a little further here, I have a little gap right here. So as long as this is, and I'm gonna use uh, a leveler, as long as this is pretty close to level, I'm just gonna keep going with this. All right, so as you guys can see, I've cut my piece. This is the end I cut. It's not completely square, but obviously my other end is. So what I'm gonna do is slide this in here, or kind of push it in, like so. This is not perfectly straight, so. And just like that, it's in there. It's in there, now we just gotta nail it down, screw it down. As you can see, my pieces here didn't wanna line up completely. So, that might be a pain later on. Not too bad though. Not too bad at all. Now let's go ahead and screw it down.
make this easier since I'm one person doing this. Again, kind of like how I do the corners. I'm gonna drill a pre-existing hole back. That way my screws just can go right inside and I don't have to worry about screwing through this aluminum tile piece here. It's a little difficult to do just holding it with one hand. Don't put your screws where the track goes in or bad things will happen. Now I recommend for this part, get a pen and with your drill out hole, make a little mark where it's supposed to be. Make it easier because it's a little hard to hold this and drill with one hand. So as you can see, my camera died during that last part. We got, made a little bit of a mess here, but we got the whole trim, an aluminum piece, all the way throughout the wall now. See our gaps are pretty well hidden. All the way down, another 90 degree piece there. And it goes all the way throughout that wall. And back to the start. So now we're ready for the LEDs. So actually the microphone on my camera died, but I'm just showing you guys that obviously when you get your LEDs out, you're gonna feed it through this 90 degree piece, not with the end with the outlet 
Obviously, if you want to cut more LEDs, you're going to need to cut it on the open end. But what you can see is you pull it tight through the other corner loop, and this is what you should end up with. Now, when you put your top um, piece on, it's really easy to cut to length. I used a pair of scissors, and I marked it with a pen, and you're going to see a quick little view of how it looks without the LEDs on. A lot better of a look, a lot cleaner, and I think it looks a lot nicer without the wires all exposed, but here's what it looks like with all the LEDs on. And that's it. If you guys like it, make sure you like and subscribe. And obviously the lights, my camera don't do it justice, but it looks a lot nicer. And you guys are going to have an overall cleaner look throughout your house. But stay tuned for the next video.